Okay. How you doing? I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the pan modes in Reaper. Now to choose the pan mode, we're going to go to project settings. Over here. And if we choose advanced, right down over here is where we choose the pan mode. Now it's interesting that it's in the project settings and not our preferences. And that's by design. Because if we change the pan mode in the middle of a mix or after a mix, it may change our levels. So you don't want to change it as a preference or have it system wide. You want to choose it project by project. But if you have a preference that you really like, you could choose it here and save it as your default project settings. And that pan mode will be your default on every new project. So let's check each one out. By default, Reaper is set to this. Stereo balance or mono pan. So it's different for stereo tracks than mono tracks. So let's see how it behaves. On mono tracks, like this acoustic guitar, this pan knob lets us move the sound between the two speakers. So if we pan it left, it's only in the left speaker. Pan it right. It's only in the right speaker, and the center, it's in both equally, and then we can move it anywhere in between. That's a pretty standard panning behavior. But for stereo tracks, like this one down here, a stereo electric guitar, this panning knob is going to behave differently. It behaves as a stereo balance. So if we adjust it, it's going to change the volume of each side. So as you move it to the left, we're going to hear more of the left and less of the right. In the middle, both sides are equal. And if we move it to the right, we're going to hear more of the right and less of the left. Until it's gone completely when it's panned fully to either side. Now a stereo balance is different from shifting the stereo image. It's not shifting it. It's changing the level of each side. So as you move it to the left, the right channel doesn't move to the left or towards the middle. It just gets lower in volume. Until it disappears. With a pan to the left, we're only hearing the left channel in the left speaker. We're not hearing both channels. And the same on the other side. So right now, we're just hearing one guitar. The next pan mode is a stereo pan. If we choose this, each track now has two knobs. The first one is typical panning, but on a stereo track, now it's going to shift the image. It's not going to just adjust the volume of each channel. It's actually going to shift the stereo image to one side or the other. So right now, we're hearing two guitars in the left speaker. Both the left and right channels at the same time. And if we pan it to the right, now we're hearing both channels in the right speaker. And anything in between just shifts it. So as we move this over to the left side, the right channel is shifting to the left speaker. So right about here, the right channel is pretty much in the middle, with the left channel on the left. 
So we shifted that image. And the same thing on the other side. Right about here, the left channel is going to be the middle, and the right channel is going to be on the right. But with this mode, there's another knob. Let's put it back to the center. So both channels are now equal, and hard left and hard right. And now this knob is a width control. It decides how wide the stereo image is. So if we bring it in, it's going to slowly collapse into mono. And at 0%, it's fully mono. We're hearing both channels, but they're both in the middle. And as we bring it out, it gets wider until it's fully left and right. And if we go to the left side, it just reverses the channels. So the left becomes right, and the right becomes left. But all the way to the right, keeps it as wide as possible. And we could use these two knobs together. So we could shift the image towards the left. And then make it more narrow with this knob. Or on the other side. Or we could reverse it. It's pretty flexible. Now let's put it back to fully wide and back in the center. And let's take a look at the third pan mode. The next one is called dual pan. If we choose this one, we get two faders, one for each channel. Now, if you notice, the level is going to be a bit different. It's going to be a bit louder because each channel is treated as a mono channel, each with their own pan. So here's the left one. Could bring the right one in. So right now, both channels are mono, but it's a lot louder than doing it this way. Although you could adjust it with the volume knob. But that's why you don't want to change this in the middle or after a mix, because it can change the level on your stereo tracks. Let's switch it back to dual pan. And again, these are completely separate, which could also be useful for reversing them, putting the left side on the right and the right side on the left. But most of all, this is the most flexible way of adjusting the panning, because you can pinpoint each channel and where you want it to be. There's actually a fourth mode right down here, but this is no longer recommended. It's just included just to make sure your old sessions still work. But it's really recommended we use one of these three going forward. And this first one is the default. Now, something else I should show you as part of Reaper's flexibility is our ability to change it per track. So if we keep this on its default, we go back to having one pan knob. For mono tracks, and for stereo tracks, it's a stereo balance. So as we move this, we're going to readjust the level of each side. 
But because of Reaper's flexibility, we could change this by track. So our mono tracks can stay like this, based on a default right here. And we could change just this track by right clicking the pan, and this pops up. So we could change our pan mode just for this track. So instead of being a stereo balance, we could make it a stereo pan. With the width adjustment, or we can use dual pan, giving us a separate pan for each channel. So this way for mono tracks, we can keep it like this with a standard pan. But for stereo tracks, we could set it however we prefer. Some tracks could be stereo pan. And others can be dual pan. So it's very flexible. And these are the pan modes that are in Reaper. I hope you learned something, I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.